yeast artificial chromosomes are uh, I can say that yaks E. coli it is not the single host that can be used to clone larger DNA fragments or the fragments from any source iske alawa kuch aur bhi organism hai jinko use kiya ja sakta hai uh, to clone uh, DNA fragments from different sources to iski jo ek example hai wo hai yeast or scaromyces scaromyces E. coli ki tarah iska bhi genome well studied hai it is very simple to grow in the laboratory to isko bhi use kiya ja sakta hai uh, as a host organism to clone recombinant dna if we have a look again on the map of yeast artificial chromosome then we will find that it contain different selectable markers that can be used for the selection of recombinants then uh, it contain a portion which is called as the centromere uh, if you remember centromere is a portion where the microtubules or the spindle fiber it attaches and uh, it play roles uh, in the uh, division of the chromosome during the mitotic process another uh, uh, portion of the yeast artificial chromosome that is important uh, its origin of replication uh, so the uh, yeast artificial chromosome it contain different dna segments that are important uh, it also contain restriction sites for different type of enzymes that can be used to clone uh, dna fragments so here the yeast artificial chromosome it is digested with suitable restriction enzyme like the foreign dna that can be partially digested to create larger dna fragments and then these are ligated together and then uh, this recombinant artificial uh, yeast chromosome uh, it can be inserted into the yeast cell if you will remove the cell wall of the yeast then it is very easy to uh, infect it and here you should keep in mind that if we want to clone larger dna fragments uh, for their separation we can use pulsed gel electrophoresis this pulsed gel electrophoresis it is similar to gel electrophoresis uh, but it is used to separate larger dna fragments in an agarose gel uh, so because of this reason this pulsed field gel electrophoresis it is important once the segments they are purified separated then they can be used to ligate with yeast artificial uh, chromosome next is the strategy that we can use for cloning foreign dna into yeast artificial chromosome as i told you that it contain its own origin of replication so that it can replicate independently from the host chromosome region for centromere so that it can separate during the mitotic division selectable markers that may be any one for any antibiotic like selectable marker 1 or selectable marker x or y that may indicate any antibiotic or any other selectable marker and telo meric dna it is also there and and within this telomeric dna bam h1 restriction sites are there one can digest with bam h1 so this fragment of dna it is discarded and then in the further step you will get a linear yeast artificial chromosome that is flanked by a region of dna which is called as telomeres and in the next step it is further digested with eco r1 enzyme so that left and right arm they will get separated after separation in the next step when these left and right arms they get separated then larger fragments of foreign dna that have been digested with eco r1 these are the fragments of foreign dna that are comparatively larger in size so they are mixed together and the foreign dna it is inserted here which is comparatively larger dna fragments when 
recombinant yeast artificial chromosome it is produced then it can be used to infect yeast cell and yeast cell can be further treated with different type of enzymes so suppose this is a yeast cell it can be treated with enzymes so that its cell wall it is digested and you can get a spheroplast spheroplast means that it is also a type of protoplast that is cell wall less and now it is easy to infect and then after infection it can be recombinants can be selected on the basis of some selectable markers that may be x or y marker so this is one of the strategy that we can use for the cloning of larger dna fragments especially from eukaryotes like the humans to clone by using yeast artificial chromosomes yeast artificial chromosome like the bacterial artificial chromosome uh, inko bhi use kiya ja sakta hai uh, to clone somewhat uh, larger dna fragments to back skim kabale mein jo yaks hain inme jo dna clone kiya jata hai uska size comparatively zyada hota hai jo minimum size clone kiya ja sakta hai it may be up to 150 100 base pairs or 15 uh, kilo base and it may go up to 2000 kilo bases so comparatively larger dna fragments that may be up to 2 into 10 raised power 6 base pairs they can be cloned so it is a very very large dna uh, fragment and especially it can be used to clone uh, eukaryotic dna like the uh, human genome if yeast artificial chromosome it will contain the foreign dna that is less than 1 Hundred thousand base pairs or hundred kilo base hundred kilo base, then it will be uh, degraded uh, after uh, its transformation into the yeast cell. So smaller fragments they are not stable, whereas the larger fragments uh, that are uh, above the size of one fifty uh, kilo bases, they are more stable for cloning with yeast artificial. chromosomes